My Tel Aviv. In this episode, we tour the first international bank of Israel, an office tower designed by Pei Cobb Fried. We discuss the project with Ari Kutz, the local associate architect on the project. Ari, tell us first how the building site, sandwiched between two historic buildings in the heart of Tel Aviv's central business district, affected your design decisions. It was a nice rectangular site, but very early we discovered that in the two opposite corners, diagonally, we have two historic buildings, two listed buildings that we must preserve, which made it much more complicated. And when we tackled that, I mean, the first generating idea was drawing a line from the corner of that building to the neighbor's building, which was the best preserved building on Rochelle Boulevard at the time, maybe still is. And you see this line, it's really a geometrical line from corner of that building, of this building to the corner of that building, which is our neighbors. But by that way, we really uh, did what the Japanese call borrowed landscape. I mean, we borrowed this historic building into our site. And this line generated the rest, and the Pecob Fried uh, people came immediately with this idea of triangular prisms, which is almost it's, uh, expected of the uh, Pecob Fried office. And the whole building is this interplay of uh, triangular prisms rising up to the sky. The building is 32 floors. We have eight, four eight-floor registers. And it also uh, ties into the neighborhood very well. The first register um, is really uh, connecting with uh, a neighbor here, which is also a bank, the uh, Banca Poalim. Second register is with the uh, stock exchange building across uh, the road. The third register uh, is with our neighbor. And the fourth is just to be taller than all the rest. This floor is, uh, the, is the second register. Okay? It's, a, it's the second time that the triangular prism is taken away. So there is a balcony here. You could see that the ceiling is also specially designed on the basic geometry of uh, the building. And it's a, a, it's a grid that allows us both having a very simple uh, ortho orthogonal or perpendicular lines to the envelope uh, along which you will have partitions when needed. There's one thing worth mentioning here is also the curtain wall. It's what's called the, an active uh, uh, wall or a climate wall. Uh, it, has, uh, it has a cavity, <coughs> quite a large cavity there, with an electric shade going into it. Air comes in, flows in this cavity and makes this envelope a very uh, efficient envelope. And lets you have a very transparent building with a very low heat load. <laughs> 